Now, we've spoken a lot about um, the call from Rose Must Fall to, to recognize these very complex issues. But your organization also sets out um, steps that, that could be done going forward. So this isn't a, an academic uh, discussion. There are practical steps. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kiala Boha, you've mentioned quite practically the renaming mm -hmm. of uh, Jamison Hall to the Marikana Memorial, Memorial Hall. Hall. Marikana Memorial Hall. Mm -hmm. And um, Brian, when we started off the interview, you mentioned a program that you want uh, either instituted or acknowledged at the university. Talk to us about that. Well, I mean, I think that uh, what I was speaking about before was about educational programs that we try to conduct on our own volition. But uh, in mentioning that, we want to d uh, illustrate that the, out of the conversations that came out and the debate that took place at Avenue House, which, we re uh, which was Bremner Building, which we renamed during our first occupation, um, we were trying to tap into understanding what decolonizing education would be like, uh, which many fancy academics have the luxury of studying and taking further, but, uh, but we uh, take the risk to do in our extra time uh, and through our activism. And, and what we're really trying to say, or show leadership here at UCT, is to demonstrate to the university what this future u uh, university should look like. And part of that in our, in our minds is having these conversations about looking at societal issues and looking at how um, we, in our disciplines, dissolving the discipline almost, and saying, look, how do we contribute? How do we bring justice to these kinds of contexts? How do we prevent things like Marikana from happening? We don't want students from public institutions um, to be leaving without a sense of understanding about what is wrong with where we've come from and how do we change it. And that means explicitly like what Marcia is talking about, looking at how, so in us criticizing what is taking place in, in Marikana, it then must mean that we must look at how labor works at the university. And that must also be reflected in the curriculums. And we, in, in our statement, we make specific uh, reference to the economics department specifically, who has a very particular bent in their curriculum, which is very neoliberal and very uncritical of capitalism. And you know, while we're not saying that those, ki that those kinds of uh, pieces should be removed from the curriculum altogether, if they're not supplemented with criticism, then people are only told one side of the story. And if people are only told the side of the story that we contend uh, exploits labor, then we lead ourselves to a very dangerous situation. So that rectifying those things, and this is a, to, in many respects, this is something the university is already committed to. There is change happening with the curriculum process, and we intend to be a part of that. But that's not a process that, that exonerates them from everything else. In fact, the decolonization project implies that everything comes into question. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit um, more about Judge Ian Farlam, his role. What does the Roads Must Fall uh, movement propose when it comes to his role um, in Lonman via the university, and therefore, and, and uh, rather his role um, on the Marikana Inquiry um, Board. Are you proposing something be done? I mean, I, I think on, on our side, um, Masa will correct me, but mm -hmm. it's a sense of trying to get an admission, by hook or by crook really, that people acknowledge that justice was not served here. We need to send a strong message. Justice was not served, the government and private interests were not held accountable. That, I think, mm -hmm. for, we would contend that that, that, that that is true. And what this then should mean is that public institutions should divest from persons like Ian Farlam who are not able to provide uh, the kind of accountability that we require. And the public institution in this case would be the University yes, of Cape Town. Yes, this, this is what we are calling for. Yeah. A divestment from, from the university. Well, yes, from, from people who cannot hold our government and our private interests accountable uh, in light of what we feel uh, is our perception of justice. Now, yeah. of course, as, as the movement, you must realize this is this is a radical call. This is not um, a small step. What you're calling for is, is for a, a huge movement in the upper structures of the university. Um, you understand this? And of course, this is, this is what the movement's about. Mm. 100%. I, mean, yeah. I, think, I think what Brian is saying is very important because as a movement that positions ourselves to be about justice, I think this is a very important um, in moving the country forward because conversations around decolonization cannot just be limited to institutions like UCT who will have our change internally but nothing else shifts in the country. I think it's a, it's a protocol, it's about shift in the country, it's about 
holding important people accountable. And we need to also hold Ian Farnham accountable because he's one of the people making decisions about the lives of students, the lives of South Africans, day-to-day -day South Africans who will go into the world. And he sits in that position. And if he cannot hold our government accountable, the necessary people accountable, then we need to hold him accountable for that. We need to hold him accountable for that because he has so much influence in day-to-day -day operations of the university. The university which is a part of the which is part of South African and feeds into the South African society. Um, so I think that's that's a, that's a part of that's very important as a movement has positioned itself to be about justice and we're clear about that. Ryan, for the viewer who wants to get in contact with the Roads Must Fall movement or read more about what you stand for, or perhaps wants to interact with um, the movement via social networks, mm. how can they do that? I think they should check out our Facebook page, Ro uh, UCT Roads Must Fall, and you can also email us at roadsmustfall at gmail.com, mm. and we'd be happy to engage and respond yeah. to anyone who would like yeah. to be a part of us. Well, Brian, when we last spoke, you promised to me that with the removal of the statue, it wouldn't be the end of Roads Must Fall, and you certainly kept your word. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us.